Here's a, a question I have that I know a lot of, I'll just say, I think a lot of white people have. To me, I think where, where a lot of people uh, are frustrated is being you know, assumed that because I'm white, I naturally, if, if, I, if I have a, a disagreement with somebody that's black, or I don't like somebody that's black, or uh, you know, wh whatever it is, I get into a fight with somebody that's black, it, it's, well, it's clearly because you're a racist. Like, there's, there's such an overcorrection uh, you know, for for some of these wrongdoings, and and a hundred percent they're wrong. I mean, the the George Floyd thing, like, fucking Stevie Wonder could watch that video and say that's fucked up, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. There's no arguing that. What what? But what I think, and 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 again, I I find myself in this same mentality, and I think it's important, uh, you know, for for both of you to to know and 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 think about it, and and maybe you have some some perspective for me that will help. But it is that you know when I watch that guy put his his knee on the guy's neck to to having not known either one of them having not seen any any other aspect of it than just that taking place and say that cop is racist how do you know he's racist to me i see it as a racist act right and you know i think it's until one lives in the skin of a black person it's hard to fully understand what it means to be a black person in this country. You know what I mean? Well, it's, it's, imp it's impossible. It's impossible. But, it's impossible. And not to interrupt, but the, and we, we talked about this when, when you came on, uh, was that, you know, I, I hear that a lot. It's another thing is, you know, you have no idea what it's like to be black in America. Yeah. You, you're right, I don't. But, the, but there's a, a, another side to that is that, you know, both of you guys don't know what it's like to be a white guy in America, right? right. So, you know, to be, to be assumed that you're racist because you you know, are, are white or that, you know, I, I did something. I mean, whatever the, the circumstance is, you know, again, like when, when people feel like they're not being heard, and, and this is a classic example of, of neither side or both sides feeling like you don't give a fuck what I think. You don't give a fuck what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, for somebody to, to just say, like, well, you don't know what it's like to be me. It's like you don't know what it's like to be me. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm not using that argument. What, yeah. what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that, you know, there's a lens, right? There's a different lens that we get, you know, through life over time, especially when we've seen and experienced maybe not the same exact events that George Floyd has experienced, but we experience maybe similar events mm -hmm. when we experienced racism, when we've seen the look of racism as it looks us into the, in the face. And I'll give you a few examples and then I'll, I'll come back to the answer as to why I believe it to be racism. I grew up as a kid hating police officers. And one of the reasons why I hated police officers was because I would see police officers carry out such negligent and disrespectful and sometimes evil events upon African-Americans and Hispanics in, in the area that I grew up in. Not just in the Bronx where I grew up in, but in other parts of New York City, riding the train. And I would see the look of some police officers as I watched some of these <clears> things <throat> carried out. Somebody getting beat to a pulp for jumping the turnstile. And I would see a police officer, white police officer, look at me as if to say, and sometimes even said, you better keep going, boy. This is, you know, you're going to be next. So I've seen that look before. Mm -hmm. I've, 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 I remember, and this happened even recently, uh, I've, I've walked into department stores and, 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 and other stores, and I've, I've, I've felt the suspicion, and I've been suspected of times yeah. of being a criminal, of being someone who's going to, after having served in the military for 13 years, mm -hmm. and I've seen what that look looks like, and then I've seen where I was proven innocent in a particular situation, and then the tone changed. Mm -hmm. And so I say all that to say to come back to, 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 to the officer, why I believe it to be racism. It's because I seen the look that he was giving those other African Americans Mm -hmm. as they stood around and pleaded for him to stop. It was a look that says, I can do whatever I want. He's black. He's meaningless. I don't care. And, 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 and not one minute, not two minutes, not three minutes, not four minutes, not five minutes, not six, nine minutes. We know how long it was. Oh, yeah. It was, it was and people were but... pleading, pleading, not, not, but not just people. We need to understand black people. <laughs> right. Right. And he had a and he had his hand in his pocket and a look of pride saying, what are you going to do? And so for me, I see it as a racist act because 
I've seen that same look. I, that look that he's given into the camera. Most, some people may say, well, that's just your opinion. That's just observation. But when you've lived in this skin, as I, as I said earlier, and you've seen a look as such before, yeah. it comes so, together. So here I'll play devil's advocate for a second is that, you know, admittedly you grew up hating police, right? Yep. There were a number of times in high school, because uh, it was, you know, I was in high school during the Rodney King riots. Mm -hmm. I was a freshman in high school, um, you know, and, and at that point uh, I was five foot four, 105 pounds. I was a fucking runt. Uh, and I got the absolute fuck beat out of me by about 40, uh, mostly uh, black uh, male students mm -hmm. from the high school. They rioted in our high school and, and jumped every fucking person that was white that they came across. They destroyed uh, a, a bunch of property. And, and I got caught coming back from lunch. I was running. I was going from the third floor down to the first floor. And, and I got the fuck beat out of me trying to go all the way down the stairs, you know, racial slurs thrown at me, you know, all sorts of, of, you know, verbal connections to what was going on with Rodney King. While I understand 100 percent, like there, there's a look and, and I, I think the three of us know better than most, you know, to remove race from it entirely to say we've all been overseas and you, you can see. Mm -hmm. When, when a guy wants to fucking kill you, exactly. you know, he doesn't have to say anything. Exactly. You, you can see the way he looks at you. And, and, and I, I have seen that look, you know, again, on the, on the exact opposite side that, than what you're, you're talking about. And, and I get that. And it's, it's almost impossible not to have that influence, uh, you know, impact and, and drive some of your perception of how things are going. My point with all of that is that similar with me is that, you know, I may have preconceived notions now of saying, you know, that guy wants to fuck me up because I'm white and, and I'm in the wrong neighborhood, right? Is that, is that uh, you know, I, I'm in an area of town where I'm not fucking welcome and, and, and I can see it, I can feel it, I've felt that before and whatever. My point in all of this is that even with all of that said, is that, you know, when, when that charge of saying what you did, you did because you are racist, you know, to me, again, it's, it's the same as, as any other, you know, felony charge is that, you know, there, there still has to be quantifiable, a quantifiable way to prove that when you're, when you're accusing people of it, instead of just saying, yeah, you did it because you're white and he's black. Right. I mean, no, 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 I, I, I agree. The contact wasn't racist. Right. So what I mean by that is I doubt Chavin, whatever that police officer's name was, I doubt that he was driving down the street with his partner and saying, I'm looking for a black person to kill. Mm -hmm. Or I'm looking for a black person to kneel on their neck. Right? He was put in a, in a, into a situation, and I truly believe that his racism rose up. And it transposed what would, was supposed to be a typical job, if that's what we want to call it, into what ended up becoming a racial situation. So, again, I, I, I'm not of the notion that this white person was looking, was, because a lot of people say, well, he wasn't racist because he wasn't driving around looking for somebody to hang. Yeah.